Hi, and welcome to the Ponder Podcast for The Connector. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like this one bit. Uh, there's dimensions on here that are not needed. There's dimensions on here that are needed that are missing. So we're going to do it my way. And we're going to create one that looks more like this. Way more simple. Uh, I don't think you'll mind. So here we go. Let's create a standard part file. And this connector will connect the front to the middle or the passenger base and also the passenger base to the back. So start a new 2D sketch on the XY plane. By the way, if you're listening to this, uh, I thank you and you're doing it correctly. And I'm going to give you some hints and some answers. Um, and the people that are not listening will get these answers wrong. So here we go. Let's create a rectangle. And the rectangle is going to be 2.3 by 0.78 tall. And we'll extrude, we'll finish the sketch and extrude it. And the extrusion is going to be, um, and you can go in either direction. Um, and that's 0.5. All right. Now, oh. I'm going to start another sketch, and we will um, project our geometry and draw a rectangle on there. All right, this part is going to be how tall, um, or I'm sorry, how wide is that? is going to be we're going to skip it we're going to go to the height and the height is 0.34 so the people who are uh, not listening are going to think that's the right answer when it's not okay here we go let's dimension here to here and that part needs to be 0.34 and let's dimension here to here and see this is where people are going to get it wrong they're gonna we're gonna type equals we're gonna click on this other side all right and let's dimension here to here and that's going to be point two three five and finish your sketch extrude this away and that number is point three three all right let's do some filleting and we're gonna fillet all the corners point one click one corner another corner Rotate it around. Click corner three and corner four. And we're looking good. Now let's flip it around to the back. And I want to create a sketch on the back side. I want to project the geometry just of the entire thing. I don't want to come inside and start projecting some hidden lines that we don't see. All right, again, I want to create a rectangle I want to avoid some hidden lines, so I'm going to make it significantly smaller than what I'll need. And I want to start dimensioning. And so let's dimension here to here and also here to here. All right. All right, I'm sorry about that. We want to actually delete this bottom one. So we want to click on it and hit delete. Uh, we want to actually dimension this side right here. So this side is going to be 0.67. You see it goes past. So what we want to do is some math. And I'm going to find the dimension for the entire thing. And yes, it says it's we're going to uh, over constrain it, but that's OK. I need that number. All right, so here's where we're going to do some math. 
because we want to figure some math out for this. So we want this distance right here to equal this minus this, right? Wait a second. We've got a gap there. So we actually want to split this in half so that half of it's showing up on the bottom. So if we double click on that, and we say we want this to equal in parentheses and divide it by 2 so we have this distance right here subtracted this distance in parentheses and divide that into 2 we'll have that evenly spaced alright for the width of this You know what? Take a time out. This is a good spot to save your work. So hit your I, hit your save as. Um, oh, got to do finish our sketch first. And then save this as connector and then your initials.